So big news came out yesterday. This wasn't like a rumor or whatever. No, they just came out and said it. Apparently, Man of Action is going to be doing a Mega Man cartoon. Yeah, they're going to be doing a new Mega Man cartoon, which, shit, I don't think we've had one since NT Warrior, really, now that I think about it. <laughs> but yeah, Mega Man is getting a new cartoon by Man of Action, the people behind uh, Ben 10 and Generator Rex and Ultimate Spider-Man. And Avengers Assemble. But let's look on this. I'm actually more optimistic on this than I am uh, before. Because when I first thought, it was like, oh man, Man of Action, really? They haven't really been turning out a lot of good stuff. But I'm actually a little more hopeful for this because it's Mega Man. This is right up their alley. This is the stuff they've done before. And I think it's a really cool idea. Now, the big thing with this is that we don't know what the, what the story is going to be. We don't know what exactly, who's going to be in it, nor do we know um, what kind of continuity this is. We do know it's going to be Egg Mega Man, not Mega Man X. Yeah, it's not going to be Mega Man X, although I'm pretty sure somewhere down the line Mega Man X will probably show up sometime in the near future on that account. But uh, we don't even know what station it's going to be on. Personally, I'm betting it's going to be on Netflix. I'm calling it now, it's more than likely going to be on Netflix. If it's not, I'm going to say, and this is probably the least likely, but yeah, this is second li likely, but I would say uh, the second place it would probably be is Cartoon Network, and that's where action shows go to die, unless you name Steven Universe. But yeah, let's look at it. Sonic Boom <laughs> and Transformers Robots in Disguise. Where are those shows? What do you mean early in the morning? <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually thinking this might actually go on Netflix, because Netflix has been doing a lot of shows recently that have been, you know, they've been, you know, they brought back Inspector Gadget, which has been okay. It's a sequel to the 80s cartoon with CGI animation. It's not bad. It's not terrible. I, I like it for what it is. Um, and they've been doing a few other animated shows, so I think if any place it's going to be where it can survive and find a good fan base... I would have to say Mega Man might be on Netflix. Yeah, it might, yeah, more than likely Netflix will probably have Mega Man. If not Cartoon Network, if not Nickelodeon. But, yeah, I'm going to say Netflix, because again, they haven't really announced a station, but I'm betting it's going to be Netflix, if anything else, because uh, Cartoon Network has not announced anything uh, for Mega Man. They haven't really done much, so Man of Action just said, yeah, we're doing this. No one's going to stop us. And thank God, by the way, because Capcom... Guys, you've been dropping the ball lately. You let, me you know, uh, Me Mega Man's your mascot. And you could say, oh, but Ryu from Street Fighter. No, it was Mega Man. Mega Man, uh, uh, Mega Man was their flagship, and now he's just been kind of mistreated. When was the last time we saw Mega Man? Oh, yeah, Super Smash Brothers. And that was it. And Capcom's been really just mistreating Mega Man for the most part, but I think... You know, this might be a good push to get in a new direction for Mega Man, and I think there's a lot of potential here for this new uh, for this new animated show. Now, the big question is, what kind of continuity are you going to do? Are you going to do like uh, are you going to be doing like the original cartoon, or you know, or you know, just a new updated version? Are you can do your own continuity with a new style to it, because let's face it, the story of Mega Man is pretty simple. Rock, you know, this character called Rock and his and the other character, Roll, are two robots, and they're created alongside the Robot Masters. And then, you know, evil scientist number five, a.k.a. Dr. Wily, goes on a rampage with the Robot Masters and... Uh, robot Masters, excuse me, and heads out to destroy... You know, they head out to destroy the city. But guess what? Oh, Mega Man... Uh, you know, Rock becomes Mega Man, thanks to Dr. Light, and they head out. So... I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, the story's not too complicated, but I think it would be cool, like, each uh, episode... I, I guess, like, the best way you could look at it is, like, maybe do the whole Freak of the Week kind of thing. Like, uh, each new episode is him battling one of the new Robot Masters and, you know, taking their abilities to use as his own. I think that would be you know, a good way to do it, but if you want to do more, if you want to do, like, a longer story, maybe, you know, have some of the Robot Masters in there, and some of them are, you know, they get away and get upgraded and something like that. Um, and also, I'm wondering, are they going to have Proto Man in this in this continuity? Are they going to have Proto Man in here? Are they going to have Bass? Are they going to have, or, or Bass, you know, 
tomato tomato are they going to have well obviously they're going to have guts man and uh you know cut man and a few other characters but are they going to have Pharaoh Man? Are they going to have, you know, there's so many characters in here you could put in the Mega Man, you know, from Mega Man in this continuity that I think it's a really cool idea. And Man, and man of Action, you know, we like, you know, Ben 10, you know, it, all the way to eight, Ultimate Alien was good. Then we had Omniverse, and that was something. Generator Rex was really good. I think that was some of their best work with Generator Rex. And then you had, uh, you know... I don't think it was their fault for, you know, what happened with, uh, you know, I don't think it was Man of Action's fault for what happened with uh, Ultimate Spider-Man and uh, Avengers Assemble. I don't, th I think that was more Marvel than anything else uh, for them doing that kind of, because I don't, uh, yeah, I think they just are behind the animation. I don't think they're behind the writing and whatever. At least I don't think so. So yeah, having, so giving Man of Action, you know, uh, the chance to actually do something really cool with Mega Man, I think this is right up their alley. And the fact that, you know, Capcom's probably going to be like, we don't care about Cap Mega Man anymore. All we care about is making subpar games. That's... Let's face it, when's the last time we had a really good Capcom game? Guys. Yeah. Capcom, you are very hit and miss these days. More hiss missing than hitting. The, uh, how, uh, sadly. Ca but Capcom, I love ya. But seriously, you got to get the, get on the ball on some stuff here. And I don't mean to sound like I'm bad mouthing Capcom. I'm a Capcom fan, but you know, I can't be the only one thinking, man, they just have not had the prop the, the right quality like they had to be, like they used to. I can't be the only one thinking that. Anyway, so are you? So let me know, guys. Are you guys excited for the news of a new Mega Man cartoon? Uh, who do you want to see in it? Uh, where do you want to see this uh, this shown? Do you think it'll be shown on Netflix? Do you think it'll be shown on Cartoon Network? And do you and um, what kind of story would you like to see part of this new continuity? And more importantly, like I said earlier, are you guys excited for a new Mega Man cartoon? Because I sure as hell am. Also, one more thing. God damn it, you have got to have the original '90s theme in there. Super Fighting Robot, Mega Man, Super Fighting Robot, Mega Man. Super Fighting Robot, Mega Man, fighting to save the world. There you go. I hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.